to our chief guest, Shri Chetan Prakash Jai. Shri Chetan Prakash Jai has assumed the charge of the post of Chairman and Managing Director, Central Electronics Limited, on 7th April 2021. He is an officer of Indian Railway Personal Service, IRPS, of 1994 UPSC Civil Services Examination Batch. He did his graduation and post-graduation in Botany from Hansaraj College, Delhi University, secured first position and completed his MPhil from DU before joining the service. He went on to complete his LLB from KC Law College, Mumbai, winning the gold medal for highest marks in first year of LLB. He has also done MBA from FMS New Delhi with distinction. He has undergone various prestigious training programs such as Human Resources Management and Development at Institute of Public Administration Victoria, Canada, Tax Administration and Revenue Forecasting at Duke University, USA, Strategic Human Resource Management at IIM Ahmedabad, India, Strategic Management Program at ISB Mohali, India. He has vast experience in HR, administrative and financial matters and has held important positions at divisional and headquarter level in railways, followed by a stint as Executive Director in Railway Board and later as General Manager HR in RVNL, a Scheduled A PSU of Ministry of Railways. He has also served as Director, Appointments Committee of Cabinet in DOPT and then as Member, Staff Selection Commission. Based on his varied experience in the field, he has also been appointed to serve as Member, Prasad Bharti Recruitment Board. Since 19th October 2020, he is serving as Joint Secretary and Financial Advisor in Department of Science and Industrial Research and CSIR, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. I humbly request our Chief Guest, Sri Chetan Prakash Jain, to kindly come up and motivate us with your words of inspiration. Respected Dr. Guha, Dr. Ashok, Sri Shaw, Professor Venu Gopalji, students, researchers, friends from industries, my colleagues from Central Electronics Limited and CSIR. A very warm good morning to all of you. CSIR, as you all know, is Council for of Scientific and Industrial Research, Innovation Engine of India, a premier research and development organization of Government of India, and has 37 various, very premier R&D labs and institutes all across India. NPL is one of the earliest one and one of the most premier ones. This is a moment of great pride for my team from Central Electronics Limited, who are seated here in the second row, and me in particular, in my capacity as Chairman and Managing Director Central Electronics Limited, to be present here on this occasion of inauguration of MSME Industry and Startup Meet Event for three days bigly today. As you all know and has been pointed out earlier by Professor Venugopal and other speakers, that one week, one lab is concept, is the brainchild of our Honorable Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, which has been crystallized, given shape by Honorable Secretary DSIR and First Woman DG of CSIR, Dr. Kalai Selvi Ji, which is actually being executed all across CSIR, CSIR labs by stalwarts like Professor Venugopal here. Thank you very much, sir, for this opportunity and this function. We have, we as in Central Electronics Limited, have a great history, great association with NPA, as rightly pointed out by Professor Venugopal in his inaugural welcoming address. It was some electronic component production division of NPA. Which, are, which I think is working on ferrite pr production and characterization. From this ferrite and ceramic division, R&D head Dr. T. V. Ramamurthy is closely associated with CA even now as 
His date of birth, that is 26th January, is being celebrated in CEA as annual day of the year. Sir. Mm -hmm. So we, we cherish our memories with NPA. And CEA, as, we, as, as I continue my address, we, all of us would know that NPL has given birth to CEA and CEA has reached certain heights which gives us inspiration to all the industries, to all the startups, to all the micro industries, small sector industries that they can also grow up, grow big in association with laboratories, national laboratories like NPL and others. I would also take this opportunity to introduce Central Electronics Limited to one and all present here. Central Electronics Limited is a central public sector enterprise under Department of Scientific Industrial Research created from idea generated by NPL, finally founded on 26th February 1974. We have four verticals. We, we got the name and the fame and visibility because of our solar vertical. We were the first ones to make solar cell. We were the first ones to implement, implement solar plant. And if you recall, Prime Minister Modi, Modiji's address on the 24th of April uh, 2022 on the occasion of National Panchayati Divas. I'll tell you the incident. CL was able to install and operationalize a 500 kilowatt solar plant in Palli, in Jammu, Palli Panchayat of Jammu, in just 18 days. And Prime Minister Modi ji complimented CEL by saying that Hamare yaha 18 se 20 din to kisi file ko Delhi se Jammu jane mein lag jate hain. Lekin aaj ek yaha organization hai jisne 18 dino mein ek 500 kilowatt ka solar plant operationalize kar diya. So we take great pride in CEL making that effort and operationalizing Prime Minister Modi ji's vision on carbon free carbon neutral village Palli in Jammu. The second vertical is smart security solutions. We deal in installing CCTVs in various uh, uh, various areas in Delhi, various institutions, government buildings, etc. We would also be happy to know that we are into smart classes project and we have uh, made virtual cl smart classrooms in almost like 789 schools of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, sorry, Uttarakhand, and the project is also going on in Himachal Pradesh. We would also be happy to share that the Ramjan Bhumi, Ramjan Bhumi uh, Mandir in Ayodhya, the security perimeter is being installed under CEL supervision. Then there are port trusts. We are actively engaged in solving the problem of entry and exit of uh, trucks, etc., which has a speed up, a speed up their turnovers drastically. Other than the solar and SSG, we are very big player in railway vertical. We are basically into railway safety device called digital Excel counters. There are three verticals there, single, se single section. High availability and multi section digital excel counter working on electromagnetic sensors. CEL has association not only with NPL but also with other institutes, other uh, departments of Government of India. In fact, our railway vertical, these products are a result of technology, Paxa technology, uh, Paxa uh, collaboration with Department of Scientific Industrial Research. And we, we have developed that technology in coordination with DSIR and are now developing it further for better use in railways. In a, uh, if we talk of association of NPL with railways, uh, I'm given to understand that NPL is also working on various uh, leisure and optical sensors. It would be a good idea if we can collaborate that and showcase that to maybe DMRC, with, with, uh, Delhi Metro, with whom we have a uh, MOU, for Make in India. We have also developed a system called Broken Rail Detection System, which is based on electromagnetic sensor. I would be happy to see if laser and optical sensors can play a part there. There is also a need and a demand for 
intrusion uh, detection system where also I think optical and laser can, uh, can play a uh, big role. The other thing that was coming to our mind uh, when we were discussing last day, uh, the other day uh, uh, on the possi possible collaboration with NPL and CL, uh, DMRC is looking for possibility of optical tension for their uh, uh, tachometer applications and which monitor the speed and direction of the moving rolling stock and are integrated with their signaling equipment. This is a fail-safe equipment and they are currently being imported all from Europe and are being, uh, becoming difficult to source. So if somehow NPL can collaborate and develop this, that would be a huge, huge relief for entire railway industry which has, uh, in this technometer applications and CL can be a production partner for, uh, for NPL in that regard. Coming to defense businesses, as Professor Venugopal said that and, uh, CEL, came, sorry, what? CEL came to, uh, came, uh, took its life, uh, was germinated on, uh, as an idea emanating from uh, NPA, but later, as he said, we, we, we became famous on account of other things like maybe solar, etc. We would be happy to know that though solar gave us that visibility, that every one of you may be knowing. It is the it, it is the technology, it is, it is that ferrite product which gave birth to CEL as an idea. It is that which is in fact today also sustaining CELs. That has given business of uh, almost like uh, next year, next two years we are targeting uh, almost like 80 to 100 crore of business only from this uh, defense business of which this ferrite would be a major, major company. This is used in various uh, phase control modules, passive antenna system in radars, missiles. Mm -hmm. We also have one technology from uh, other, other CSR lab, NAL, Bristol Transmitter and Transmitter Systems. So not only we help uh, running trains safely, we as CL also contribute to safe landing and takeoff of airlines by installing this uh, Bristol Transmitter uh, System across various airports of uh, India. So we have business opportunities, we have uh, technology sharing opportunities with NPL, mainly in defense and uh, uh, railways, which we would like to take further and improve, uh, improve further for better utilization uh, for entire rail industry, defense industry, and many other, uh, many other inter industries wherever uh, these things can be put. Now coming to this uh, particular event which uh, we are organizing today, uh, let me also highlight some of the achievements of Central Electronics Limited over the last three years. With cooperation from our colleagues from various CSR labs, one being Professor Venugopal from NPA, and other labs like NAL, CSIO, DSIR, Department of Atomic Energy, Department of Defense, BRDO, RF Electronics Limited, etc. CEL has been giving very fantastic performances over the years. And in the last three years, I am very happy to share that continuously for the last three years, we have been in the profits around 25 crores each year. And also, I, let me also tell you and share with you that Central Electronics Limited, which came out of idea from NPA, is a debt-free company and not in red, as many people had that kind of an idea. So even in, even with the threat of this investment looming, looming over, over us, we have been able to keep our employees' morale high. We have been able to make sure that we are there in the systems, in, 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 uh, in railways, in uh, defense, and are able to serve the country in the most befitting manner. This activity, this one week, one lab, and this is smart, uh, this uh, uh, MSME industry and startup initiative meet. I'm given to understand that it will be a three day program starting today. And various uh, initiatives, various activities, various events like inaugural talks, talks by eminent industrialists, detail of one on one discussions among researchers and industrialists, and a showcase of advanced technologies by NPA are on the agenda. During this period, it is also expected that a wide range of activities 
maybe uh, including R&D conclave, metrology conclave, women in STEM, skill conclave, lab visits, and science exhibitions for school and college kids have been planned. And this is uh, this is with the aim to create a network aimed at increasing youth knowledge and skills and creating network between academia and industry for positive collaboration. Coming to end of my speech, I would like to address this August gathering of the students, researchers, academia, industrialists, that you are the ones who push the boundaries of what is possible. You are the problem solvers. You are the original creators. You are the visionaries. Your work has the power to change the world to make it a better, more sustainable and more connected place. As we face unprecedented challenges in 21st century, from COVID-19 pandemic to climate change, we need your skills and expertise more than ever. We need engineers and technocrats to design and build sustainable infrastructure, innovators to develop new technologies that can solve complex problems, and technologies to create digital solutions that can connect people and resources around the globe. So to all of you, the engineers, students, innovators, and technologists out here, we thank you for your tireless work and dedication to improving our world. Let us continue to collaborate, innovate, and create with a shared vision of more just, sustainable, and connected future. But remember, as you work to develop new innovations, new technologies, take efforts to take technologies from labs to industry to society, we all must remember that they should serve as tools to enhance our humanity, not replace it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your very thought-provoking ideas. It was so mesmerizing to know from you that NP has given birth to CEL, and the seed was implanted as long back as 1974. And we appreciate the commendable efforts of CEL in delivering the visions within small time frames, and also bringing forth the need and demand of technology where NPL can contribute. It was a pleasure to hear you, sir.